PUA charges and fees. So this is a good topic to be aware of to prevent any shock or, wait a minute, I don't know about that. Why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> we don't want that kind of situation when we're putting money in any kind of product. So when it comes to a life insurance policy, money can go toward the base premium or toward the PUA rider. The PUA rider enhances the cash value, accelerates the growth. That's the area of interest. Everyone that we work with is after that. The thing is, depending on the company, you are almost always going to see a PUA load or charge. There is, There are some companies out there, smaller ones, that don't have a PUA load or charge at all, but most do. And the thing is, it can be scary on paper. For example, you might see a company like Guardian have a PUA load of 5%, or Mass Mutual a PUA load of 8%. And you look at their dividend rates, Mass, PUA load of 8%, dividend of 6.2%, Guardian, dividend 565, load of five. It's like, wait a minute, I'm either losing money or barely earning anything when I pay it in here after the company's charged. Like, what the heck, I don't want that. What's interesting is they're way scarier than they need to be, and it's way more confusing than it needs, needs to be. We do have in our uh, agent training program very specific, detailed breakdowns of exactly how this works, PUA loads with different companies. But overall, here's how they work, if you want it in a nutshell. Any PUA load is a gross load. So for example, Mass at eight, seven and a half or eight percent, Guardian at five percent. That is a gross load. When it is deposited, the co the company immediately begins to credit the guarantee and also any dividends. What you will find, especially with some of the top companies, is if I make a PUA deposit and the load's five or even eight percent, if I break down and study that PUA, you'll often see the net expense piece on that PUA is going to fall between 1% and 2% based off of the present dividend rate and guarantees. Again, we have full breakdowns on this if you're interested, if you're in the industry. So again, regardless if that load is 5 or 8%, the net load in the first year, you're going to see fall between 1% and 2%, meaning if I put in $10,000, I'm going to see, call it 9,800 or so actually show up in cash value, not a $500 deduction. Now, each year I make a payment, that load from the company does apply. However, you will find if you break down the PUA performance each year after the first year, I have a positive yield. It's going to exceed the charges and expenses. So it is scary when I see that charge or load on paper, but at the end of the day, Aside from the first year, it does yield positive returns and the money's accessible. It's the key to making the net cash value growth attractive. Hey guys, Steve Parisi here. If you enjoyed the content you just saw, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for future videos. If you'd like more information or to see some custom policies for yourself, feel free to call or email our offices at the contact information below.